morning. This Mass is offered for Lynn Gable, and today we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We take a moment to call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have written. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most graceful fault, therefore I ask the blessed Mary of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, the great and the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, full of your grace from among women, to become the mother of your Son, our Redeemer, mercifully grant that, venerating her holy name, we may escape the dangers of this present age and obtain with her life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons for that we may be co-workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty among, upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. For the just one shall be everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord says, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, 
will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Today we get our message from the past couple of weeks and for the next couple of weeks. Again, same message, different people and situations. John tells us to be faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers, calling us to prepare for the kingdom, which is basically the message of our Gospels last week, this week, and next week. In fact, without stretching it too much, all of our readings throughout the year call us to prepare for the kingdom, to be men and women of faith, to be ready to meet Jesus when he comes again to us. Today, John ties our work to the continued progress of other people, all of us on our way, we think or pray or hope, all of us on our way to heaven, to the kingdom. So converts are cradle Catholics, we need support of and need to support others as we all make our way to God. To help prepare and be ready, Jesus tells us we need to pray always without getting tired, to storm the gates of heaven with our prayers. And he used a persistent widow and a reluctant judge to make his point. Now the judge was no candidate for sainthood either, saying it is true I neither fear God nor respect any human being. And the persistent widow though makes an impression. And he said, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. Or whatever it takes, I guess. But Jesus calls us to pray, and to pray always, and to persist. And he encourages us, will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it justice is done for them speedily. But as good as that promise is, isn't there a real question underlying all of this? And isn't that real question considerably more sobering? And doesn't that real question make us sit back, maybe, in embarrassment? And doesn't it call us to make new promises to do more? Isn't that real question, when the Son of Man comes, Will he find faith on earth? Prayer, persistent and heartfelt, has to start somewhere. And isn't that somewhere in our faith? So you tell me. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? things we still need to our loving God. We take a moment and thank God for one gift or one grace he's given us. And we ask him for one gift or one grace we still might need. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray. we pray for the repose of the souls of all those who have been killed by this plague. And we ask our Lord to return to health and a complete recovery all those afflicted with it. We pray to the Lord. Lord our Finally, we pray for all those people in our book in the narthex, all those people who have gone before us, members of our families or our friends. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord our and finally, we pray for one person we love. pray for one person we might find difficult to love. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Good and loving God, you hear our prayers and you alone know all those things we need. This morning we ask that you give us everything we ask for in fact, all according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And for the protection and purification of the church, we pray. St. Michael the Archangel.
pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters, all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly love. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples, and so became the pattern of the church of prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's home, homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Louis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, distribution of communion, if you're wearing a mask, you may find it convenient to lower it. Uh, regardless, I do ask that you hold your hand flat and that you consume the host uh, immediately upon receiving it.
Lord's Prayer. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, whom you have strengthened at the table of word and sacrament, that with Blessed Mary as our patron and guide, we may reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christian and follow whatever accords with it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And here's the thing. So which of the brothers and sisters have you helped as they continue on their journey to God? Have you helped them or anyone in a way worthy of God? So we might join them in the way to God. We can jo join and support them now so we all may be co-workers in the truth. Call it uh, persistence or call it nagging or call it a mature faith in action, but pray always. Persist in your prayer. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. Show God your faith. God found faith on earth with Mary. How about with us? If God answered the naggy widow, how about you? Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. Aren't you a chosen one as well? Show God your faith. So in our books of words to live by, we need, we need to write, pray always without becoming weary. Pray always and don't lose heart. Pray always and show God your faith. And today we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.